got baseball. You got beer. beer. You, you got got barbecue. barbecue. See, still sticking with the bee theme. Welcome back to the happy hour, guys, and welcome to the Breckenridge Brewing Main Brewery and Barbecue on 471 Calamath Street, Denver, Colorado. But how to get to the Breckenridge Main Brewery? Well, in Denver, if you're lucky, you get to ride in the Breckenridge Brewmobile. Kids get the ice cream truck. That's right. Grown-ups get the beer truck. This is about as excited as I've been since, well, ever. There is, there is a seatbelt. Ladies and gentlemen, we're moving! We're mobile! We're moving! Recently, we were at the Ballpark Pub of Breckenridge, and we talked about the connection between beer and baseball. Well, this time, we're going to talk about beer, food, and we're going to talk a lot about family. I'm, I'm about to try the uh, the vanilla bean hey, porter. Leave them out. Look at this. Bringing. They are on it. They are on it. Let's bringing. try that again. I've been waiting for this vanilla bean porter. <laughs> right, 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 right. And... I've been waiting for this vanilla bean porter for a year. Seriously, because Jimmy was out here a year ago and I wasn't with him. And I've, I've sort of held a grudge until now. Cheers. Thank you, sir. I'm seriously moving to Colorado. I was kidding the other times I said it. Now I'm serious. Here's an interesting tidbit. When's the last time you got a fan letter from the Grateful Dead because you had a lightning bolt in your logo? And the Grateful Dead's attorneys got wind of it and wrote a cease and desist letter to them claiming the lightning bolt as the exclusive property of the Grateful Dead. That's hilarious. But they're too smart here. There's still a lightning bolt. This is Todd Usry. He is the head brewer, brewmaster, brew god here at Breckenridge Brewery. And he's going to show us a few things, starting with our defibrillator. Can you say that? Defibrillator. Defibrillator. <laughs> As if, we, uh, if you can't say it, that means you have passed the <laughs> point of no return. We've been through the process over and over and over again. Our audience usually knows how beer is made, or at least you know pretends they know. When we ask brewers, we say, what's, what's the coolest part? What do you think is the coolest thing? What really jazzes you? And <laughs> you said, the whole place. I love the whole place. <laughs> Uh, as well as the people, the people here, Jasmine, every day. We, um, it's it's a big, a big family atmosphere, like we talked about. Yeah. Yep. And um, it's like a, it's almost like a golf foursome. You know, everybody <laughs> gives everybody crap, gives everybody a hard time, but they've all got your back. You know, yep. and they'll go look for your ball in the weeds and stuff if you need it. But it's a, uh, it's just a fun, fun group of people, and that's what, that's what gets me in the car, brings me down here as much as the beer. It's time to roll. Out the barrel. You steal all of my jokes. Sorry. I hate you. It's barrel time. That's right. Just like our other favorite breweries, Breckenridge is experimenting with barrel aging. But is it too much? I mean, come on. Are we getting a little too fancy with beer? Yeah. Think about rock and roll. When was the last time you said, boy, there's too many songs? <laughs> but just, just be who we are and let's, let's brew some beer. And you know what? Just as long as we stay true to ourselves and true to the craft, we will grow. So be on the lookout for Avalanche Ale, the Vanilla Bean Porter, the Agave Wheat, and the 471 Small Batch Series. All of them amazing brews, but at Breckenridge, it's about so much more than just the beer. Folks, I can't tell you what a great time we've had here at the Breckenridge Brewery, here at the main brewery, where they have barbecue out in the front bar, and it is amazing food, and also the Ballpark Brewery, which is incredible, right across the street from Coors Field. These people are a family. The one thing we've seen in Colorado over and over again the brother and sisterhood of Colorado brewing, of small craft brewing. It just continues to surprise us, it continues to astound us. So, if you are within a hundred miles of Breckenridge Brewing, you have to come here, say hello to the family, and try some of this really amazing, sessionable, quality, really, really good beer. These guys do it right. We will see you guys next time. Cheers. We have a beer now? Yes, please.